Hello my small fat adapted family and welcome back to Keto Bits and Bobs. Here on Keto Bits and Bobs I review keto friendly foods or brands found predominantly in the United Kingdom as a Brit who has been in ketosis for over seven years. Today we are looking at Raw Gorillas Granolas. We are looking specifically at their three keto branded granolas. And these come in three flavours and those flavours are chocolate chip, chocolate and berry. This review is based off of the two chocolate flavours because I have yet to try the berry one, which is mainly due to the price of these boxes. A 250 gram box will set you back approximately £5.20. I, I can't even begin to justify that. I wouldn't mind that price if this product lasted a while, but at 250 grams in a house with three ketogenic people, these granolas will last us two days at maximum. This product is a good idea for gifts, but I don't think it is for daily use unless you can justify that price. In terms of buying them, you can get them directly from Raw Gorilla's website, which I've linked down below. A lot of online UK keto stores also sell them. Amazon does sell them for a slightly higher price, and I believe you can even get them from Ocado. When it comes to the ingredients, all three flavors include sunflower seeds, coconut chips, flax seeds, almonds, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and inulin powder. Inulin powder is a fibrous sweetener. It is sometimes known as chicory root fiber. It has a glycemic index of zero, meaning that it won't raise your blood sugars. Now the chocolate chip granola also includes cacao paste and lacuma powder. Lacuma powder is a sweetener with a glycemic index of 25. This is a pretty high glycemic index in keto, but it will be such a minimal amount. The chocolate granola also includes erythritol, which is a sweetener with a glycemic index between one and three, meaning that it shouldn't affect your bloods. And the berry granola also includes erythritol and 5% freeze-dried raspberries. I would say that all of these ingredients are okay. Nuts and seeds are quite normal for ketogenic folk to consume, provided that they are eaten in moderation. Even the lacuma powder, I would say, is okay, just because it's so low down on the ingredients list, we can tell it will be quite a small amount used. So in terms of macronutrients per serving, which is 40 grams, you are looking at, uh, for the chocolate chip granola, 214 calories, 16.8 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, and 4.3 net carbs. The chocolate granola is 204 calories, 16.6 .6 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, and 6.8 net carbs. Then the berry granola is 190 calories, 15.4 grams of fat, 5.9 grams of protein, and 8.9 net carbs. I could justify the chocolate chip granola as a treat at 4.3 net carbs. Maybe even on a special occasion, I could justify the chocolate granola at 6.8 grams of net carbs, but the berry granola at nine grams, basically, that's pretty much half of my daily carbs in a 40 gram portion. But let's continue and talk about the taste and the texture because there are going to be some of you that are fine with these carbs. As I said, I've only tried the chocolate and the chocolate chip granola and I found both of them to taste very similar. They're a combination of like clusters and just loose bits of nuts and seeds. It is pretty crunchy and I couldn't like single out and identify the nuts and the seeds which kind of added to that feeling like I was having a cereal. I found them to be not sweet at all. In fact, the chocolate chip ones had a bitterness every so often from the cacao. They reminded me a tiny little bit of uh, Jordan's Country Crisp or Alpen. I enjoyed them more with cream than I did with almond milk, which makes me think that I'd actually probably prefer to use them as like a topping on top of a keto dessert rather than just a standalone product. I mean, if I had to use one word to describe them, I would probably just say they're okay. They have some great attributes, like the fact that it's made from raw ingredients, it's gluten-free, there's no preservatives, it is a nice taste, and it's a pleasant granola-like texture. If somebody gifted these to me, I wouldn't say no, I'd enjoy them. But at that price for that product size, and then the carbs on top, that puts the nail in the coffin for me, personally. I can create nut granola at home that has a 
sort of similar, there's a very universal taste and it will cost me less. But with that being said, that is all for this video. Leave a like if you found it interesting, insightful or helpful, subscribe for more keto content. Any questions, any comments, any queries, anything down below, keep calm, keto on. Thanks for watching.